Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Cacti Craft. Today we're doing a very special episode. It is not about the build that we're working on right now. It is not about the llamas looking up at me right now. It is not about this pillager banner. It is about something wildly different. Today we are doing a video about the nether. More specifically, nether portals and how they link up. I'm going to be showing you how to link up nether portals because here on our uh, little realm, we need them desperately. We really need some nether portals. So I'm going to go through my things and look for something that might help us get to the nether in a reasonable fashion. What you're gonna need is anything else you might need to get to the nether. You're gonna need obsidian. Uh, you might want a diamond pickaxe unless you can do the lava bucket method that I showed in the second episode of Cacti Craft. I believe it was the second one. Um, but in this instance, I think I'm gonna travel back all the way back to our first house where our nether portal already is. I'm gonna get lava and stuff from there. I've got two buckets with me right now. And what I'm going to do is we're gonna go from there and show off how to do nether portals. Yeah, no, you can't come with me. No, no, no. I mean, Shaq is dead. I can't just take llamas wherever. Rest in peace, Shaq. So one thing to keep in mind when you're looking at setting up a new nether portal, you want to know where exactly you want it to be. So the first step for this is we're gonna find out exactly where we want our nether portal to be here in the overworld. Now for our uh, castle plans, we plan on having two towers right here. And this right here is where we're going to have our nether portal somewhere here in this vicinity. If we get it close enough, we can move the portal a few blocks or whatever in any which way, depending on the build that will eventually go here. But I'd like to set this portal up now, just so that we have ease of access for it later. So I'm gonna press F3, and if you can see, if I press T, nope, that doesn't work. I wish I could just like move my cursor over it, but on the far left side of the screen, there is capital X, Y, and Z, followed by three sets of numbers separated by the little slashes. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down these coordinates. I myself keep a small little book in front of me at all times, keeping track of coordinates. So I'm going to copy these down. And just to make sure that you guys are seeing the right numbers, I'm going to read them out loud as I go. So this is going to be our castle uh, portal so I'm just writing down castle coordinates so I'm gonna write it down negative 22,912 then there's space 67 and then the next another space and then 15,029 and if we follow those coordinates, if we get ever get lost, we can go back to those coordinates that we've written down and find our way back home. I have also have a few more coordinates written down here in this book. One of them is our original nether portal and base that we started back in episode one. And I'm going to be headed there very soon, but I forgot a bed. It is a long way back. One of the advantages of the nether is that you can travel a whole lot faster than you would than in the overworld. So hopefully when we come back, I won't need to bring a bed. One thing I'd like to mention as we are traveling back is that as you travel, you can see the numbers are changing. Oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a cape there. Let's keep going. You can see right now that just below the coordinates, underneath the row that says chunk, it says facing south and west, as I change direction slightly, 
Right now this is west, but if I turn this way, it's south. So it's telling me which direction I'm headed in. And depending on which way I'm going, the numbers change which way they're going, or whether they're going up or down. So right now, as we travel directly west, you can see that the x coordinate is changing. It is going up. All right, well, it's not going up. It's going down. It's going down, but we are so far down, it's going down in the negatives. And we are <laughs> a lot of negative blocks away. If we were to turn to go to the south, you would see that the z coordinates are going up as we go south. If we were going north, they would be going down. If we were going east, then the uh, z coordinates would be going up. Right now it just looks like they're going up because we're going in the negative direction. There's, oh my god, there's so many freaking scary caves around here. Oh, and there's a doggo. Hi! So since this is a long trip back, I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip right on ahead <laughs> to when we get back to the house. Unless I come across something cool. Then I'll let you know about it. It's actually a lot shorter than I thought it would be, but still a pretty long journey. We have made it back to the base. Actually, Moose Marie is online right now, and she's been mining over here at the base. And she told me that the enchanting room is finished, so we're going to check it out real quick. Bink! Wow! Yes! Oh, this is awesome. Yay! We're definitely going to be using this. Oops. I forgot I have a pressure plate there. Alright. So, the reason I definitely wanted to come back here was because we've got this wonderful lava lake. And, oh my god, look at all these sweet berries. they all grown up. Alright. So, we are going to go in here. I just want to see if we have diamond pickaxe on hand or maybe oh wait there's already some the four obsidian right there that's nice mm -hmm. and nope a diamond pickaxe and ah okay okie doke I will be back. I'm probably gonna have to need get some diamonds. And I finally found some diamonds. Oh yes, there's enough. Ooh, there's more. Oh my god, I'm so happy. We can finally make a diamond pickaxe to mine my gosh darn obsidian. I'm just gonna mine all the way around these. And I'll be back in a minute with the diamond pickaxe in hand and some obsidian. Okay guys, so I have got my diamond pickaxe and I am mining up pieces of obsidian. In order to make the portal, we're gonna need 10 blocks of it. And this is gonna take a minute. Be careful when you're mining obsidian because a lot of the time it's gonna pop up right, you know, over an already established piece of lava and you don't want to fall into that. That would be bad. Once again, here's Marie. She is preparing our llama caravan to head out to our, um, what do you call it? Our, our castle. That's it. That's the word. So, go. Perfect. Oh yeah. We should almost be done now, shouldn't we? La 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 la. We'll find out in a second. Okay, yep. That's ten. That is all we need. So, I'm just gonna put a few things away. Because when you're traveling in the nether, you don't want hardly anything with you. So, I'm gonna drop off 
So what blocks I'm going to actually no, I want I want quite a few of these and I want coal because I want a bunch of torches so I can oh they're right there okay who's confused for a second but we want to make a bunch of torches so that we can keep track of where we go in the nether I'm also gonna grab some cobblestone I've got arrows for ghasts, and I don't really need the crossbow. I'm gonna put that away. And I'll take out an extra pickaxe, but we're gonna put the diamond pickaxe away just in case. And we're gonna make two more stone pickaxes because when you're in the nether you need pickaxes we're gonna bring these extra things and i thought that there was just a random crafting table somewhere but we can just take these with us just in case we need to make more but I don't want to take up too much inventory space okay we should be good to go so the next step after we have the coordinates for where we want to go is we need the coordinates for this portal where we are think so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna press F3 and I'm gonna write down the coordinates for this portal here now keep in mind I'm gonna be taking the coordinates from what it's like here inside but you can see it's 63 is the only difference in the X coordinate because we're moving in the X coordinate here so I'm just gonna write down 63 as opposed to the 64 here I've got my notebook and I'm writing it down so we are at negative two three six six three sixty seven one six one four five okay now I'm gonna put down just a couple lines or some indication that it'll separate it because once I get on the inside I'm gonna write down its nether coordinates Portals that link up have an overworld and nether coordinates that we need. Bink. All right. Uh, guests are spooky and I don't like them. Okay. So we're going to stand right here. Pull up F3. I'm going to write down the coordinates for this in the nether. So we've got negative. 2950 is it 56 69 and then 2021 okay now you'll notice that these coordinates are in the same quadrant the x coordinates are negative just like the overworld and the z coordinates are positive just like they are in the overworld hmm. so in order to get to our next portal we are going to have to travel in the same compass direction that we would to get to our next place so since our um castle is north east of us we are going to be traveling north and east out that way. But we don't know how far yet. So we're going to go back to the overworld where it's safe. And we're going to do a little bit of math. Oh, and there's the llamas. Marie's taking them out. Oh, we're not. You good? Okay. She's headed out. Bye-bye. Oh, and she left 
She's leaving Demetrius with us here because he's super cute and handsome. Hello. Okay. So let's go back here to the coordinates. So like I said before, for every eight blocks you travel in the overworld, you move one block in the nether. When you travel through the nether, you're going a much greater distance in a shorter amount of time than you would be if you're going in the walking in the overworld. So it makes traveling to and from places a lot faster and easier. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take down the coordinates from the castle that we are setting up. And we are going to find the distance from there to here. So the castle coordinates are negative 22,912, 67, 15,029. That is where we are headed. And once again, what? Hold on. Okay, guys. So I helped Marie sleep, um, as you can see here. Um, so these are the coordinates for the castle. And I'm going to rewrite out the coordinates for where we are right now. And that is negative 23,663, 67, and then 16,145. Now, to get to where we need to go, we are going to take the difference between these numbers. So, we're going to do some math and subtract the negative 23,663 from negative 22,912. Okay, so there is a difference of 751 blocks between the castle and our base in the x direction. Next, we are going to take the z coordinates right here. And we are going to find the difference between those two. So the difference between these two is 1,116. The next step is to divide these differences by eight because every step in the nether is eight in the overworld. So we take 160, or 1,116, divide that by eight. And for that number, we get 139, oops, not that, 139.5. And now we're going to go 751 divided by 8, and that gives us, yes, 93.8. Perfect. Okay. So we are going to be moving... 139 blocks in the x direction and 93 blocks in the um, z direction. But which way? Well, we're going to be going those directions north and west. So la 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 la. we go back to the nether. Like a so. Pull up. We know that we're going to be moving east and north. So whenever we go north, <laughs> our Z direction goes down. So we are going to be subtracting Zs from our uh, nether coordinate. And then for our x, since we are going east, we are also going down. Or no, technically we're going up. So we are going to add x's, add blocks to our x coordinate. So when I said that we were going to be adding and subtracting whatever, the distance, so the 139 
was to the 1116, 1, which was our Z coordinate. Ooh. So our Z is going down. Mm. Is it? <laughs> Your girl is very confused right now. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Our Z direction goes down. And if our Z direction is going down, that means we are subtracting our nether coordinates. Our nether coordinates are negative 2, 9, 5, 6, 69, 20, 21. Okay? So we are going to be subtracting this number to make it smaller. We're going to subtract 139 from it. So we're going to take 20, 21 minus 139.5. Oop. So our new coordinate is going to be 1,000. 881 and a half. We're going to call this NZ for our nether Z coordinate. And then we're going to be adding to this X coordinate. It'll become less negative. What is this? Oh, okay. And this is how much we're adding 751 blocks. No, sorry, 93. <laughs> 0.8 blocks because we divided that by 8 to get 93.8. So we're going to take our nether coordinate. 29, negative 2,156, negative 2,156, and we're going to add 93.8 to get our nether x coordinate which is 2000 no negative 2862 beautiful so the coordinates oh also you do not have to worry about the y coordinate this should not matter when you're trying to figure out how far you've traveled within it so our nether portal coordinates our new nether portal is going to need to go to negative 2862 we're just going to go to 69 to stay at the same level in the nether and then we're going to go to 1881 0.5 Okay, that's where we're going. All right, guys. So I found my way right in right here on top of this obsidian block is negative 2,850. Oh, yeah, negative 2,852 uh, by 1,881. So we're going to build our nether portal right here. And right now I've just been setting up a tiny little like um, safe box to keep us safe from ghasts, eh, like that. Just be nice to have a nice little roof over our heads whenever we're coming and going. You think? All right. So now we're just gonna build our nether portal, just like normal, here and here. And then we're gonna put open that back up and there we are so this should be the right place to put the portal I did my math wrong and that's very embarrassing Pink. all right now all right we're at 61 oops let's see where we pop out I hope it's not in the middle of the night All right, well, this is close enough. Hold on. Bink. 
Oh goodness. Yes, there is a bed out here. Perfect. Looks like we were just a few blocks off. Watching everything burn. I'm going to double check my map again and I'll be back to you, with you guys in just a minute. Okay, guys, so I have refigured out um, the coordinates of another portal. I did end up, I was <laughs> 10 blocks off, it appears, right here. Um, I projected the portal to be at, um, negative 2,852, but it's actually 62. So I'm just going to walk you guys through the math again, and I've typed it all out right here, so it might be easier to follow. So I can, you know, make sure that you understand everything. I'm, I'm sure that I mumbled and jumbled through the whole first part. <laughs> so I'm just going to go over it again for you guys. So we started off with where we want the castle to be. Um, and that is up over here, over by that tree. We want the portal to be over there because that's where we're going to have our nether portal room. Instead, we ended up popping up in the construction site, which I think actually sums up perfectly because if we go X, you'll notice that we've gone too far in this direction the x direction so we know that the x coordinate is what was wrong the next thing that i do is i take the coordinates for the portal all the way back at home i take its coordinates and then i take the differences between the x coordinates and the z coordinates and i recorded them here on this line remember you don't really have to pay attention to the y line because uh, the portal will connect regardless of the height difference. So I took the differences of these and there's a difference of 751 blocks here and there's a difference of a 1116 here. I divide these numbers by 8 to account how far we have to travel within the nether. So 751 divided by 8 was, nine, was 93.8 and then 1116 divided by 8 was 139.5. Finally, we go back to the nether, the base's nether portal. We go into the nether and take note of those coordinates. And then depending on which direction we're going in, we will add or subtract these numbers from it. And we determined that we are subtracting coordinates from this negative number and subtracting coordinates from this positive number. So I did 2021 minus 139.5 to get our Z coordinate, which is 1881.5. This one was correct. And then we take the X coordinate, negative 2956, subtract it, subtract 93.8 from it to get our negative 2862. And this was where I goofed up. I put negative 2,852. So now we are going to have to go all the way back to the farmhouse because I left my diamond pick there because I didn't want to die. Also, I killed a ghast and got a tear. Woohoo! So we're back in the nether now, and I thought I would go ahead and show you the route that I took to get here. Um, for one, I don't need this torch, so that's misleading. I'm having torches guide all the way to the portal. For now, it's here, but where we really want it to be is uh, just just right here, very close, um, 1881, right there. So we are just going to do this, that will show us where we need to put it once I can pick up the obsidian again. That far of a difference. <laughs> Make see, oh gosh, oh gosh, gas, gas, gas. So you can see that traveling via the nether, everything is compressed and nice and a lot easier to navigate. Now, is it safer? It's not a whole lot safer. 
I mean, there is less time in danger. But if you set up tunnels within your realm, then you don't have to worry about the ghasts. And I've kind of done that here. I've got this tunnel that'll lead us straight back, or almost straight back, to our base portal. Okay. We're back here. Creepers and spiders outside. Hooray! And we're gonna take this diamond pickaxe. We are going to go back into the nether. Alright, so now we just gotta disassemble this nether portal. Bink! Alright. And now, this is actually gonna take a minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and then I'll come back when it's done. Okay! The nether portal has been disassembled, and we are going to relocate it right over here. We have our new nether room set up. We're going to go ahead. Maybe I should have tested it before I set up this cute little room, but we should be in the right spot now. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So we didn't dismantle this side. I have to break it, and um, oh goodness, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Let's sleep real quick. So I realized after uh, calling Marie to see if she could play um, that I was being stupid, and I can just break the portal that's already over here and then just move it over there out here, as opposed to doing it from within the nether. So, yeah. I'm smart, I'm smart. Not a dingus, certified not dingus. I'm just gonna pick it up and move it somewhere else. I'll be back in a minute, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, I've got my obsidian. I'm going to rebuild the portal over here. I could have just skipped out on four of the blocks and built a cheap portal over here. But since this is since this is going to be in our final home, I figured it might as well, you know, be the nice full version. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Beautiful. Alright. I think I actually turned it so that it's facing the wrong way. But that is okay because we'll probably have the castle or uh, the build here that's going in this sort of direction. Who knows, we might even move this portal in the future. All right. Yes. All right. So this now links up it's officially in the correct location. Through just to double check. Oh, there's a hole there. Okay. That's it, you guys. That is how to link up another portal. Yay! I hope this was helpful. I hope this was informative for you guys. Um, it took me a while. Sometimes it takes a few trial and error. You just gotta be patient with it. Um, Make sure you've got your coordinates down to a T. Make sure you're going in the right direction. I've definitely gone in the complete opposite wrong direction and ended up farther away than I ever wanted to be. But we got it pretty close the first time. And most people would settle for pretty close the first time. I'm just being pretty specific because we have our setup plans. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, leave a like if this was helpful. Uh, subscribe. We, uh, my channel primarily focuses on playing on this world and uh, just building up a cute world around us. So subscribe if you're interested in more. Also, let me know if this kind of content would be more interesting than just playing through the game, because that would be a very helpful thing to know. Until then, my name is Bid Payton. You've been watching Cacti Craft. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.